So inside of Element 3D, you can work with custom textures as well. So in order to work with custom textures, there are two ways. One is to import the file inside of the scene setup menu itself, and the other one is to set a custom layer over here. So let us look at both ways. And the first one, for the first one, I'm just going to import uh, the objects. I'm going to go into the scene setup right here. And then over here, I'm going to go on to my starter pack and I'm going to go into floor fracture, just like this. So I got the floor fra fracture ob uh, object right here. So I'm going to add in a custom layer to this. And in order to do that, I'm gonna go over here onto my physical later, uh, layer and just gonna apply a white texture to it, a default texture to it. So I'm going to go over here, access the white material and over here, you can see the option for textures. So that's the diffuse, glossiness, reflectivity, and other textures right here. So I'm going to select the diffuse texture right here. So I'm going to go over here and you can see I have an option to load the texture. So I'm gonna click on this and over here in my tube drive, I'm going to go into my element 3D option right here in, and inside of texture, I'm going to select the metal glow height. So I'm going to open this out and press OK and you can see that the metal grill option is here. I can also go over here, I can work around with the gamma settings, I can work around with the saturation, the opacity of the texture and so forth if I want to. I can adjust the levels to make it br brighter or darker just like that and press OK. There you go. But you can see that the texture is a bit flat right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in something called the normal bump texture which gives a bit of a texture according to what you select here. So I'm going to go in to the normal bump section right here and in the texture settings, I'm going to select the metal grill right here, press open and you can see that now there's a bit of a depth to it. So if I were to zoom it in, you can see that there's a bit of a texture right there, although it is not too detailed, subtle, but it is this, okay, just like that. So over here, you can see that I got these shaders ready and now I can work with the UV settings and so forth. So I can go over here and over here, you'll be able to work with the UV settings. So I can go over here and you can see that there's the texture mapping, there's the normal option and so forth. So I'm just going to go over here and you can see that the uh, size of the texture is not according to what it is. So you can see that this size is okay, but this is not. So, I'm, so you can see that there's the normals are from the model, but if you were to go to auto normals, there's a bit of a change right there. I'm going to just go dynamic and there's a bit of a change right here. So I can increase the threshold of the normals and you can see that now the normal actually changes according to the fracture details that are actually here. So you can also increase and decrease the UV repeat right here. So you can increase and decrease the UV repeat as you can see and also work with the UV offset right here to work around with what I want. So let's say this is the texture that I want. I can simply increase and decrease the UV repeat just like this. There you go. So let's say I want this UV repeat just like that. And there you go. You got a bit of a texture right there. And you can see the practical information because it is there in the model itself, just like that. So there's the texture mapping of a box. So you can go for a box texture mapping. So sidewise, it's okay. You can go for box repeat right there and this is not the effect I want. Also, you can work with the plane so it only projects from one side but the top does not remain as it is as you can see. So I'm just going to go for a box so everywhere around it has the same level of texture just like this. So that is how you can apply a texture and you can also save this as a preset. So you can go over here and save this material as a preset and I'm going to save it as uh, let's say metal right here uh, metal custom press ok and whenever you bring in other object now you can apply the pro shader the material shader to it so go to the physical shader and there's the metal custom click and drag and there you go there's the metal custom shader right there with the shininess and everything out there you can also increase the level of UV right here and there just like that so zoom it in there you go that's the UV repeat and so forth there you go all right so you can press OK and the model will get imported over here. That's the first model because that's the scene setup. Let me go back and let me just uh, remove the uh, group folder right here. And there you go. This is the model I want. So I'm going to press OK. So that is one way of how you can import a model. 
um, um, uh, how you can work with the custom texture. Another way is to create something like a pre-comp. So I'm going to go over here, create a new composition, and here I'm going to apply an effect. Something over here, I'm going to apply an effect. Uh, for example, I'm going to go into something uh, like all right so let's go for something like noise right here so let's say i want a green like an effect i'm gonna go over here increase the amount of noise right there and that can be a texture there's also something called fractal noise so i'm gonna go over here apply the fractal noise so i got get an effect like this so there's the noise type there's the linear noise type there's the spline noise type right there and different block noise type let's say this is what i want as a texture so I'm going to increase the contrast of the effect and this is the texture that I want. So I have this over here on the dark clay solid. So once I apply everything, I need to pre-comp this so that I can then send it into Element 3D. So I'm going to pre-compose this as a custom texture, just like that. And I'm going to press OK. So it turns into a custom texture. Uh, over here now, what I want to do is I'm going to create a new solid layer where I can apply my element 3d plugin so i'm going to go over here apply the element 3d plugin and there i want to take this as my custom texture layer so i'm going to go over here in the custom layer that's the custom texture map and over here in the layer i can select the custom texture just like this and i can go on to the scene setup right here and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the model. I'm going to apply. I'm going to take the state planet right here and then apply a white shader, the default shader right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply that texture that I made over here onto the diffuse panel. So instead of importing a separate file, I'm going to go over here into none set. And over here, I'll be able to set the custom layer, as you can see. So I can simply go over here. You can set the custom layer. I'll just select the custom layer one where I set my custom texture. And you can see that that is there. Press OK. But the noise is not there, as you can see. Just like that. So it has been important, but the noise is not there. It's maybe because like this is not properly set up right here. So this is the fractal noise. I actually forgot to send the texture inside and that's why this is not working so let me just cut the fractal noise go inside the custom layer and paste it out here so that it works so it has to be fully a pre-comp menu and once i do that you can see that the effect is there now the ball actually has the custom layer setup so i'm going to go into the scene setup and you'll be able to see that the setup is here so the custom layer actually works out I can choose a diffuse color of my option. Let's say I want something uh, like, okay, like, um, all right, purple, press okay. And the color has been replaced as you can see. The white color gets replaced. Um, I just uh, also want a bit of a normal map onto that. So I'm gonna set the same custom layer just like that. And you can see that there's a bit of a uh, depth going on right there. So you can increase the bit of a depth just like that to get a shuttle level of effect. I can also go over here onto the reflectivity level. I'm going to this, uh, select the same custom layer right here and decrease and increase the reflectivity level and a bit of glossiness as well. So you can see that the subtle changes actually this happens and the places where there are blacks, you can see that there's a level of glossiness while the places with whites don't have much glossiness right here. So you can control uh, it's an every section with the white, uh, white and uh, blacks right there. So you can see that you can increase the level of the diffuse. So that is much more brighter. You can increase and decrease the ambient level, increase the glossiness level, specular level, and so forth. There's also the reflectivity level right here. You can select the color that I want and increase the reflection just like this, as you can see. So there's a bit of a reflection level as well. You can increase the intensity of the color, the distortion and so forth. So you can increase the distortion and so forth. So you can go over here and also uh, change the UV of it. So I'm going to go over here and then change the UV uh, of it as well. I'm going to go over here, change the UV mapping onto UV repeat just like this. So it's much more detail according to what I want. 
and I can also uh, uh, change it into a preset. So I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna save it as a material preset and I'm gonna save it as noise object just like that and press OK. So that has been converted into a preset material right here. So I'm gonna go to the physical layer, there's the object right there. So I can take any other object now, uh, like this rock for example, let me just delete this dead planet and apply that as the custom layer as you can see and that got this weird look right here and those are my custom texture. So that is how you can work with custom texture inside of Element 3D. Hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like, comment, share and subscribe.